Hello friends, this video on electrochemistry part 33 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Secondary batteries. As I told, this kind of batteries you must be seen in the car. This is used in the car or inverter in the home. And this is used in mobile phones. Also, if you see the laptops, they have this kind of batteries. So they can be recharged by passing the current in opposite direction. And actually a good secondary cell, it can undergo a large number of discharge and recharge cycle. If you see a given battery will have fixed number of recharge and discharge cycle. That's why even if you buy a rechargeable battery, you use for two years after that it doesn't work, it stops working because every battery has a fixed number of charging and discharging cycle. Right? So they are a little costly. Initial cost is pretty high. Initial cost, initial cost is high, is high, but overall cost is less. Why? Because the same battery used for longer period of time, and they have low impact to environment. Why? Because why? Because you're using the same battery for a longer period of time. Correct. So the examples are the lead storage battery used in the vehicles or nickel cadmium battery or the lithium ion battery which is used in the mobile phones. Correct. So we'll discuss about these batteries. Now we'll talk about the lead storage battery. So these are the most popular rechargeable batteries used mostly in the vehicles. Here my anode is lead and cathode is lead oxide. PVO2 and my electrolyte is 38% sulfuric acid. Correct. Now, if you see the discharge cycle, I can show you the discharge. You know, talk about the discharge reaction. My anode at anode, if I want to write oxidation will happen so lead will become lead sulfate and two electrons will come so if you see pv become pv plus 2 and at cathode reduction will happen my pbo2 will take some h plus ions some sulfuric acid will some take some electrons and take some SO4 to minus ion from again sulfuric acid and this will form PVSO4 plus 2 water molecule. Correct? This is from plus 4 to plus 2. So reduction happened. Discharge again the same reaction will be reversed. If you want to write the overall reaction, overall reaction, it will be lead plus PBO2 plus 4H plus again from sulfuric acid plus 2SO4 to minus again from sulfuric acid will give me 2 PBSO4 and 2H2. That is the reaction. Correct. So each cell is 3.3 volt, sorry 2.2 volt each cell. So now generally they are either used in three cells or six cells. So if they are using three cells, then the total volt will be three into two point two, almost approx to six volt. Or they are using six cells, six into two point two, almost approx to twelve volt. Because if you add in series, there's some voltage drop also, right? So since you can recharge it also, so it is also a voltaic cell. It is a voltaic cell when you are discharging it. And it is an electrolytic cell when you are charging it. During discharge, it acts as a voltaic cell. During this during discharge, it acts as a voltaic cell, it acts as a source of energy. During charging it back, it acts as an electrolytic cell. Then we'll talk about the nickel cadmium cell. Again, it was uh, created by Wardner Junger from Sweden in 1899. 
it has longer life than lead tool uh, lead solid cell but uh, it is expensive to manufacture it is expensive to manufacture correct so here we have anode and cathode so at anode we have cadmium and we have cathode we have nickel Correct. So anode we have cadmium and cathode we have nickel. And it is also a rechargeable cell. So at anode oxidation will happen. I'll show you at anode. My oxidation will happen. So what will happen? My cadmium will convert into Cd plus 2. So it will take some 2OH minus, it will become C D O H plus 2 charge to give 2 electron. If we talk about cathode, my cathode reduction happens and in this what will happen again my nickel is my uh, first guy here so nickel NiOH NiOOH actually let me write here NiOOH OH. This when it gets two molecule of water plus two electron, it becomes NiOH two and two OH minus. You see, this is used here. If you want to write the overall reaction, that will be two NiOOH plus here cadmium plus water molecule here. It will give you 2 NiOH2 plus CdOH2. That is the reaction mechanism. Correct. So, nickel cadmium battery was popular, but 1990s it lost its market share to lithium ion battery. We'll not discuss lithium ion battery, but just understand it was popular and it has lost its share in the market. The next, thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.